when people ask me what I do for a job, uh, I am very proud to tell them that I am an aircraft engineer in New Zealand. I grew up around working on my dad's old cars and I didn't really want to be a mechanic, but as soon as I saw aircraft engineering as an option, I knew that that was for me. A day in my life at New Zealand could look quite varied. I could be at my desk working through some Excel data sheets or I could be down in the hangar talking to engineers. Um, it's really cool to be so close to the operational side of the company and like the decisions we're making have an impact on if the plane will fly or not. So it's really cool to be a part of. I'm responsible to plan the work, to prioritise the work and to deliver it. I turn up at like six o'clock in the morning with what I'm going to achieve today and five minutes into it, I never get near any of that. It's context switching the whole day. So that's another thing, multitasking, making the team into a cohesive unit that is better together than they are apart. Engineering is so, so broad. I never thought this is what I would end up doing. I've got lots of friends who have done engineering and they've done completely different things. If I had to give advice for someone wanting to pursue engineering, I would say just have an appetite to learn and also just maintaining really good relationships. Um, you're gonna meet lots of different people, lots of cool people, learning from them, they can help you out. I think that's a really key skill to have. The world is your oyster nowadays and I say grasp it because um, once you get into the industry, there are a lot of opportunities. How you pull apart an aircraft, find the defects, fix it, put it back together and have it fly, it's amazing and um, it's a great thing to, to be part of. In New Zealand is such an awesome environment to learn in and I think from my experience so far, I've learned so much and that's credit to the people that we have around us. So yeah, I'm very grateful.